Hi guys, I hope you're all having a great Monday. We had a pretty busy weekend, but I did manage to get in some shopping on Amazon and uh, here locally I did some as well. But I have been trying to find some fig preserves for Wayne. When we lived in Alabama, I used to make them for him all the time and figs were plentiful there, especially when we lived in Mobile because it's, you know, we don't have really harsh winters. We've got two fig bushes here in Kentucky, but I think we are just too far north. And once the figs do start growing on the bushes, the birds always manage to get them before we can. So I found these on Amazon, and these are Braswell's fig preserves. And it says here on the back that Southern Living calls Braswell's fig preserves the best in the South. So I thought, okay, Wayne should like these. So I'm waiting on the mail today because I'm getting a new pastry mat. I can't find my old one, and it was pretty much worn out anyway. But when the new one gets here, I'm going to make Wayne some nice hot biscuits to put these on, and I think he'll enjoy them. So that's what I got for Wayne over the weekend. Here's something I got for me. It's a new tripod, and the one that I normally use is a really nice one, but I don't like to take it apart because it's set up with the extension arm that I use when I'm doing the overhead shot for my card videos. But I needed another one to do the videos uh, for Wayne, and also if I do anything in the kitchen for Simple Cooking with Mary. So I found this one. It's really nice. It extends to 54 inches. It's got a handle on it for when it's closed. And it's got this rotating head with a level so that you know when you've got your camera level and you get a better shot. It's kind of hard for me to show it to you with it laying down here. So I may go ahead and set it up and show you. But the head on it, this is a lock, and this pops off, and you put your camera on that, and then put it back on, and then it's locked and secured on. Well, this head will flip over so that you can get up and down shots, and it's got this little handle right here, and it will turn all the way around. It's just really nice. And it didn't cost that much either. It was like $28. So I'm surprised to find such a nice tripod at that price. But I found it at Walmart. It's a Targus. So I'm going to be using this here in a little bit because I am craving some chocolate. And I'm going to make some double fudge chocolate brownies. And it's a super quick recipe. It takes like 10 minutes. So I'm going to set this up and make those brownies because i got to have some chocolate. You know the feeling, guys. To make our chocolatey brownies, we're going to start off with two eggs. And you'll also need a half a cup of self-rising flour, three-fourths of a cup of sugar, six tablespoons of cocoa powder, a teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of chopped pecans or walnuts, and I'm using pecans, and six tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. We'll start off by beating our eggs with a whisk until they're light and foamy. Next, we'll pour in our melted butter, and I like to use unsalted and get that all incorporated. Now I'm just going to take a whisk and just mix together the sugar, the flour, and the cocoa powder. And if you don't want to use uh, self-rising flour, you can use a half a cup of all-purpose flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. But I like the self-rising because it's already got the baking powder and some salt already in it. Now we'll add our flour, sugar, and cocoa mixture to
to our eggs and butter and carefully get this all mixed together. These make just the richest, most chocolatey brownies. They're so good. Now it's time to add the vanilla and the one cup of chopped pecans or walnuts. And I'm going to grab another spoon for that. I decided to use a spatula. This works much better. Now we'll add our brownie mixture to this square microwave safe baking pan which I've greased and floured. You can see how thick and rich this is. And these are going to go in the microwave for approximately six minutes on high power. Aren't these quick and easy? And they are so chocolatey and so good. Here are my chocolatey brownies straight out of the microwave and it took six minutes. Now after three minutes I gave them a quarter turn and that way they rose evenly and we're going to put a toothpick in the center and if it comes out clean we know they're done and it did. So I'm going to leave them on the rack to cool just a bit and as they cool they pull away from the sides and I will get these cut in a minute and I'll be tasting one for you guys. Doesn't that make you happy? <laughs> it makes me happy. So we'll just let them cool here for just a bit and then I'll have a taste. The brownies have cooled and I've gone ahead and cut them into nine brownies. I like my brownies big. <laughs> but you can see how fudgy and good they look and you can see the nuts running all through there. So I'm going to go ahead and just for you guys, I'm going to take a bite. I've been waiting for this all morning. Mmm. So fudgy and good. They're still a little bit warm. Now, you can also add a cup of chocolate chips to this recipe as well as the nuts if you want to make them really rich. And if you want to put them over the top, do that and then add frosting. Oh my goodness. You will not want chocolate again for a while. But these are really, really good. And if you'd like this recipe, I'll have it over on my blog, simplecookingwithmary.blogspot.com and you can go over and just copy and paste it into a, a Word document and then you can print it out and you'll have it. But they are really, really good, guys. So I'm going to enjoy my brownie and then I've got to get ready and go do a little bit of work at the office and then i got to come back here because Wayne brought a bushel and a half of tomatoes in yesterday, so I've got to get them put in the freezer. He keeps me hopping, doesn't he? And we just did a bushel of corn, if you saw his last video. So we'll be well supplied for this winter. But thanks so much for coming by and spending some of your Monday with me, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye now.